Welcome to the Louisville Art Association International Photography Show. I am your judge, Jesse McLaughlin. A little bit about me, I joined my local photography club here in Highlands Ranch about 10 years ago where I met some great mentors that pushed me to become a better photographer over the years. I eventually became president of that club and then president of Professional Photographers of Colorado, which is the state affiliate of Professional Photographers of America. I continued to learn at these last two organizations, um, earning the degree of Master Photographer and the classification of Certified Professional Photographer. I also established an art gallery in the Arts District on Santa Fe in Denver and ran that organization for about four years where I hosted monthly uh, art exhibits. So some or none of that is why I was selected to be your judge. Let me first start off by thanking the Louisville Art Association's board for guiding us through this whole process. They were met with so many challenges along the way and they met each one of them with the true ethos of an artist. The show must go on. And now thank you to everyone who entered into the call for entry, especially any first timers. I know it's scary to put your work out there for others to judge. I didn't get any of my entries into my first competition. That first step though is the hardest and the most important. Competitions force you to be selective of your work. You actually have to take a step back and analyze your images and pick the best ones. You have to get them ready for judging by learning to save them in weird sizes using terms like PPI. Then if selected, you have to get them printed using terms like DPI. Then you have to figure out what type of medium to, would enhance your image. Then you have to make a decision on presentation. Should you frame it or not? I strongly feel that the fastest way to become a better photographer is to enter competitions and receive critiques of your images from people outside of your family and your Facebook community. I think we ended up with 776 entries narrowed down to 100 for the show. Once all the pieces were hung, I started my in-person judging. Rest assured that I did look at every single physical piece in person for this show. I judged them based primarily on the same 12 elements that we use in judging images at PPA. Impact, technical excellence, creativity, style, composition, presentation, color balance, center of interest, lighting, subject matter, technique, and storytelling. If you get a chance to walk around the exhibit in person, keep these elements in mind as you view each image. Learning to see these characteristics in other images will help you incorporate them into yours. What you are about to see are the awarded images along with a brief explanation as to why I chose those images. Selecting the winners was not an easy process. Keep in mind that these are theoretically the best of 776. The majority of these photographs in this show could be a winner on any given day. Portrait of a Meerkat by Lauren receives an honorable mention. Lauren, your, your whole series were just fabulous. Uh, this one I particularly liked because of the expression on the meerkat's face. Uh, really good job controlling the light and the processing. Uh, just, just a phenomenal job on this one and with all of your other ones. That must be such a, a, a fun photo shoot when you get to do these. Uh, congratulations. Dancing Peony by Marianne receives an honorable mention. Wow, what a great image. Um, I really like that you've chosen to um, keep everything in focus and also felt the need 
to not add you know any texture um, overlays or anything to this image uh, far too often you know we'll see this image and it'll be like a you know shot at f 1.8 focused on a stamen or something and and then you know allowed other things to go out of focus um, but it's you know it's really nice to see the whole thing in focus that's another whole skill set uh, i don't know if you just had a lot of powerful light and used like f22 or if you did you know full focus stacking uh, but uh, yeah really well done um, controlled the light really well you've got you know highlights in the back and in the front and you can really see the detail in the leaves uh, or the petals um, yeah, it's just a, a really nice image and, you know, the, the flow of it from the bottom left is is bright. So that's where my eye goes and then it kind of gets to explore and goes up to the top and kind of curves around um, up here and then back into the into the center. Uh, so really nice. Say hello to my little friend by Ashley receives an honorable mention. Now this turned out great. Um, first off, great um, choice of you know a large metallic piece for this. Um, I haven't gotten into macro photography that much, but it's you know it's one of those ones that you might as well print it big if you're going to be doing this type of a, a thing. Um, and it's just it's amazing. It's so, these are so much fun to to look around and kind of learn and inspect um, what these little guys look like. Um, just a world that we are not used to seeing and just reminds us that there's so much more out there. Thank you so much for for creating this image. I really like that it's um, kind of off skew a little bit, gives it some, makes it a little bit more dynamic and gives them a little bit of character. It doesn't really have to be a, you know, a scientific capture all the time. So, and plus the title helps with that. So just, just phenomenal shot. Thank you so much. Blanket of February by Richard receives an honorable mention. Nice job with this one, Richard. Uh, I'm really liking the, the the composite work that you've done. The texture in the sky, the birds, the you know the colors. It's, uh, it's harmonious. Everything fits together. A uh, really good job with your digital work on this one. Um, I like the the canvas texture. I like that you've put it onto a plaque, um, and then also your your presentation is phenomenal. Um, I just love how you have this, you know, this plaque, but also mounted onto these, you know, salvaged wood boards. Uh, really gives it a, a nice style, and I'm sure someone will be picking this one up. Um, really nice work. Congratulations. The Laugh by Ron receives an honorable mention. What an awesome photo. I'm assuming this is a, you know, a street photography shot of this, uh, this gentleman. Um, really nice composition. I like the choice of lens and the aperture, um, forcing that background to just go really soft. It really allows us to just focus on his face and his emotion. I love all of the detail and the beard and you know around his eyes i mean what what we wouldn't give to to feel like that it's kind of hard not to smile when you when you see this guy
Up or Down by Gordon receives an honorable mention. Wow, Gordon. I really love this piece. It's, I, I'm a huge MC Escher fan, and you know that's the, it's the first thing I saw when I, when I saw this one. Um, your presentation was really nice. I liked your matting with the black stripe going around it. Um, you've got a great eye for architecture and for finding these type of things. You know, where most of us would see this scene, um, you know, you, you, you captured this. Um, you know, it'd be fun to give this as a gift and then just have the hanging options on the back on all four sides and then, you know, come over to their house and see how they decide to hang it. Um, but yeah, I mean, great, great use of light and, um, and darkness and, you know, nice black and white. Um, I just wish that, you know, the, the handrail here was, was in, in focus, um, and that you had a little bit more over here. Um, so that would be my only recommendation is maybe in the future, take a couple of extra shots, um, to your left and to your right and up and down, just so that when you get back in, you have uh, material that you can add to it if you, if you need to. Um, but you know, for a, you know, shot from the hip capture, this thing is stunning. Um, well done. Very impressed. Morning Trek to Water by Paul receives an honorable mention. What a great pano. This is um, a, probably a very hard situation to shoot in. Um, these zebras are back lit. You get to see all that dust in the back um, being lit up. Uh, the zebras, uh, you still captured that some detail in the zebras rather than making them go to a complete silhouette. Uh, just, just really well done. I also enjoyed your presentation. The double white mat with the black uh, frame really made it uh, give it a classic feel. And even liked the uh, the metal, um, the metallic paper uh, as a choice to as a medium to to print on. It really elevated, you know, those dust particles um, in that metallic sheen and made everything just kind of kind of glow and hopefully that was you know how you how you saw it when you were there so really well done all around thank you for sharing this image with us Sunset in Greenland by Jerry receives an honorable mention. Wow, what an otherworldly experience it must have been to be there. Um, I just love the colors, the, the sun casting on the iceberg, the, uh, the blues and the shadows, and you can see on the, the tips um, of the iceberg, the, you know, the warm white sun, and then the, just the harsh blueness of the reflection of, you know, there's just the blue water all around you. Um, the red sails really make the image pop. What a, what a great capture. Congratulations. Blue Ribbon winner Joseph Atanasio by Wesley receives an honorable mention. Man, these, your series was hilarious. This one particularly. I mean, with Alfred E. Newman right there um, from Mad Magazine. I mean, this is, <laughs> this is great. Um, I only wish that the, the ear of the goat wasn't right over his eye. Um, but, you know, with the chicken and his, the boy's expression... Those ears, oh my god, these are adorable. I had no idea that uh, people were taking pictures of, of this type of a scene. Uh, but this, this, is, this is great. Um, 
I, I love this image. Um, congratulations. It must have been so much fun to, to do these shows. In the nature created category, we have first place for Long Eagle Peak Sunset by Hayden. Really nice. I think that you had a few more in, in this show as well, and they were almost equally as, as good as this one. Um, you clearly have a, a great eye and know how to use your equipment, um, either your focus stacking or you're a master at uh, hyperfocal distance, but everything was tack sharp, even in the foreground, all the way out to the end. Um, so well done all around. Uh, but this one I particularly liked. Um, you've got a lot going for you here. Uh, I really liked the, the leading line here. That's the first thing that kind of grabs my eye. Um, just kind of comes in, leads you in here. There is something here that you can rest on. It's a little rock um, or a large rock. Uh, you also have some repeating patterns in here that is really awesome. So this pattern here again where you this kind of sloping thing and then jaggy and shoots up and then you know kind of mimics the same thing up here. Kind of slowly comes in and then shoots up. Uh, you have this fallen tree here and then over here in the mountain you have this ridge uh, it's uh, you know it's always nice to find these compositions in in nature um, because they're she provides them and they're always there you just got to hunt for them and you you did a really good job um, finding this this scene and capturing this shot another thing that's really nice uh, with these landscape uh, images is capturing you know a moment in time I'm sure we know that you know you need to get out at certain you know the golden hour sunset sunrise things like that but also you know having the presence of mind to capture that light right as it hits the the peak so that you know you can tell that you know some effort was put into it you know you got there and you waited and you got the right light at the right time um, just a phenomenal shot congratulations First place in the human-made category goes to Steve for building or art. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's, it's both, especially in this case. Uh, very nice capture. I really like the lines here. Kind of gives me a Batman symbol type vibe. I like the, uh, the way that you've kept the, the color in there instead of uh, converting it into black and white. Uh, the the purple kind of reflecting on the the metal there is really nice you have these leading lines kind of coming in and just you know it just makes the image really dynamic especially since it's shot at an angle you can kind of see um, some perspective here leading out uh, it's um, a really nice piece I, I really enjoyed it plus the, your your presentation um, electing to Print this large and on metal, it, I think really suits the image. Uh, it's just all of these nice reflective material here in, um, in the actual photo and then the way that you've displayed it too just kind of mirrors that. So just all, all around really nice. Thank you. Congratulations. First place for animals and wildlife goes to Kevin for spring rain. This is another phenomenal piece. Um, I mean, all of them were great. It was really hard. Um, 
but the the colors in this really pop the the focus on the leaves and the bird plus the uh, the quick shutter speed to capture the the rain droplets coming down and then also having the uh, presence of mind to um, put this you know light area in the background um, in front of the bird kind of you know like you would for a portrait kind of give someone a, a halo effect and it doesn't look like it was added you can still see uh, some uh, rain droplets coming through there I mean it, it could have been added but um, it was really well done if it was but you know all these type of images generally come out better uh, when you do take the time to set up your background you know find an angle where you don't have distracting elements in the back and you can use some of those some of the light that's there to help uh, draw attention to your to your subject and in this case I think it was it was really well done the shallow depth of field obviously helped as well um, just another just another great great image uh, thank you Kevin for submitting this um, congratulations on your first place win Here we have the first place in the digital manipulation category. This is Inner Sanctum by Julianne. Wow, this is uh, this is something. <laughs> it reminds me of the uh, um, artwork of Joan Moreau, the Spanish painter. Uh, just the colors and you know just how chaotic it is. Um, it's it's pretty awesome. Uh, I love the you know the circles and then the straight line leading you right into the center. Um, just the the color harmony with the blues and the yellows and the oranges and the greens and I mean obviously it's pretty easy to do color harmony when you got the primary colors in there. But I mean it, everything seems to seems to really work and it keeps me interested and just kind of draws me around and around and. It's just a, it's a really cool piece. I mean, I, you know, like the, like the Moreau pieces. I don't really want it to be explained to me. I think it's, uh, I think it's a lot of fun just to kind of look at it and come up with your own interpretations. And I don't want to know how you did it either. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's, it's really nice. Thank you so much for entering this. Here we have the first place selection for Alternative Processing by Diane. This one is titled Front Range South Boulder. And I had to go in when I was on the cafe where you submitted your images and uh, read the description about this. And I was, I must say, I was really intrigued. Um, so it sounded like you printed this on like a muslin or a canvas and then added some more fabric and hand stitched it in there to give you the the lines and the shadows and the the tree or the, um, the grasses and the little chain link fence there um, it's it's really nice i was intrigued and uh, i think it turned out great obviously i awarded you first place um but yeah you know looking at it um originally just as a digital file and then in person um, to see how you um, finished it and here's a let me see if I can get this down this is the um, the finished product and you can really tell that it's fabric because of the mat the mounting um, you kind of get some ridges and some ripples here in the fabric and it looks looks really nice I like the mat that you chose um, has the um, orange core there to kind of 
brings out a little bit more color out of it and the frame really goes with the, the whole theme of the piece so you know very very well done congratulations on first place First place in the still life or abstract category goes to Mike for Crosley. What a great image of an old clock radio. Um, I, I really like the, the lighting choice that you did here. Uh, it gives me these shadows down here versus if you were to have the, cam the light behind the camera, everything would just be flat and I wouldn't really be able to tell how much depth there is here. I like that you have put the dial this way so my eye gets to explore the the circles and the uh, the 1010 the dial on the uh, watch face is is a nice touch as well um, very good job controlling the the light on a very difficult metallic surface with these bezels um, just just well done you've shown a, a mastery of, of lighting and uh, just a really good still life thank you for sharing it and congratulations on your first place win. In the people category, we have first place for Joaquin by Ron. Um, wow, this is, you know, you had a lot going for you in, in this image. Um, you know, such a such a powerful subject and a, a powerful angle. I really enjoyed the way that you shot him looking up at him to give him a, you know, a sense of power. And, you know, it was also um, hung very high in the uh, in the show as well, and that also gave him you you know a lot of power, so that that was really nice. Um, the lighting you have a nice kind of Rembrandt lighting going on here with the kind of the shadow um, or the uh, you know the light um, in the shadow um, from your <clears throat> soft box coming over from from this direction. It's, you know, it's, it's so soft that it almost looks like window light. It's, you know, it, it's really nice. Uh, just a great portrait with, um, you know, some vignetting going around. I also really enjoyed your presentation. Um, you know, the, the, the simple double mat um, with the black frame, you know, really makes it a, a classy um, a portrait. Um, just, a, just really well done. Thank you so much for submitting this. Wow, Stephen, what a great job with Underfoot. I mean, I don't think Walt Disney could have drawn a better caricature of, uh, of this scene. I mean, just look at the facial expressions. The, the mother has this little Mona Lisa smile here. You really don't really know exactly what she's thinking, but you kind of do. Um, and then these two cubs here, I mean, this one, with this his little scowl like he just got beat up or something and then this other one is you know, just hanging in there with the mom and the, you captured them both with you know each of their feet up um, just nice job you know, cleaning up any distractions also you know I think it's a good idea to you know leave some stuff in there to give a sense of scale and you know, show their environment a little bit um, but yeah just really well done I mean I just these little faces here, um, that's just great. That's just, that's kind of what took it over the top and just made me had to have to go with uh, the best of show. So, well done.
Thanks again to everyone who entered the show, to the Louisville Art Association Board and the volunteers who hung the show, to Autumn for putting together this video. It's been a privilege to interact with all of your artwork. I would have enjoyed meeting all of you and at the reception and discussing your artwork in person. But since we can't do that, I have a special opportunity for all of you that have stuck with me this far. If you have any questions about your artwork and would like a critique on a specific piece, email me your file and I will create a short critique of your images for you. There's a few caveats though. This is only available for participants of the show and I will put these critiques into a shared folder. So you must be okay with other people being able to see your critique. I will not put your name on the critique. I'll just have the title of the image. I believe that watching critiques of other people's work is almost as valuable as watching your own. So the more people that participate, the more educational this will be. So my contact information is somewhere on the screen. Um, so thank you so much again, and I look forward to keeping up our correspondences. Thank you. Thank you.